Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iPhone storage. Now, most of the storage, of course, is taken by photos and videos and then apps, but there are also files that apps will cache on your iPhone that of course will take a lot of space. So in this video, I will show you guys a few simple tips and tricks that you can follow in order to make sure that you clear as much as possible of the cached files on your iPhone. That way, of course, making more free storage on your iPhone, which you can use for anything else you want. All right, we're starting with the first thing. Now, the easiest thing you can do is restart your iPhone. Now, restarting your iPhone will clear some cached files from some apps, but it will also clear cached files from iOS system. Now, this can be found right here. Go to settings, you go to general, and if you go under iPhone storage, you will notice that if you scroll all the way down here, let's just wait for this to load here for a second. If you scroll all the way down here, you will notice that you will have files that says system data. And you can see in this case, it's actually 18 gigabytes. 18 gigabytes on my iPhone are being taken by system files. Now that of course will just change throughout the day and of course weeks, but you can just reboot your iPhone. And once you reboot your iPhone, you will notice that this percentage right here will drop. Now the way to reboot your iPhone, pretty simple. Now with iOS 16, all you have to do is just ask Siri, ask her to restart your iPhone. It will do that for you. Or you can press volume up, volume down and press and hold the side button to reboot your iPhone. Or you can go to settings, tap on shut down. And from here you can go ahead and shut down and restart your iPhone. And that will help clear some of the cache files on your iPhone. And I just rebooted my device and you can see right now it says system data, 13 gigabytes. It was 18 now this will go up slightly here probably it will go at around 14 maybe 15 but we just cleared like two or three gigs right there just by rebooting the iphone next are cached files from browsers now most of us will use safari to browse on the iphone and of course clear the history and data of websites but if you use also third-party browsers like google chrome for example you might forget to actually clear the cached files so first of all if you want to do that for safari pretty simple head on to the settings app go to safari and what you will find right here is the option to clear history and website data that will save a ton of space on your device just an example right here if we go to advanced and we go to website data you will see here a bunch of websites and you can see how much space they are taking up on my device so you can see right here we have it so you can see 40 you can see 40 there 28 and this is just from some websites and i have cleared my history right there in probably a week from now so in just a week you will have over 200 megabytes of saved data which are cached files from different websites into your device so just head on tap on clear history and from here you can clear all the history and data from your browser and if you use other browsers like maybe google chrome which is one of the other mo more popular web browsers for the iphone you can do that by going into the app on the google chrome you tap on the three dots right here and tap on clear browsing data now most of most apps won't actually allow you to clear just the cached files but the browsers do they have the option to actually clear the history and files and just like that you can go ahead and clear and save a ton of space on your iphone so in this case we can go ahead and choose the time range right here you can go all time and just tap right here on clear browsing data that way you will clear the data and of course the cached files now the cool thing about google chrome is that it also allows you to just only clear the cached images and files you can actually deselect the other ones and just clear the cached files without removing the history of your browsing now of course most cached files will be from apps that you have installed on your device and some of the most popular apps will have the most data saved on your iphone locally which again takes a ton of space like if we go to settings here and go under general go to iphone storage you will see what we have here is like apps that you know are small in size but they take a lot of space so you can see right here we have photos four gigs right there of course we have photos saved but if we go to something like snapchat for example you can see the app size is actually only 227 megabytes while documents and data 
almost one gig. And you can see the same here with TikTok or Twitter or whatever app you use. They all will have a ton of like different data saved on your iPhone, taking up a lot of space. Now, what you can do in this case is of course delete the app and reinstall it that way you will free up that space of course that will pile up again over time because i had this iphone for what's like almost two months it's like two months now and in this time in this case twitter has accumulated like 470 megabytes of different files cache files and data that it has saved on my device but if I delete this, reinstall it, of course, this will pile up again, but it will take some time. So in that meantime, I will have that free storage on my iPhone so that I can use it freely. So that way you can actually remove the cache files from the apps. There's no other way. Just delete the app, not upload the app, delete the app completely and reinstall it. That's actually the only way to do it, unfortunately. And then there are some apps that are really good. One of the reasons why I love Spotify and Snapchat is that they actually have the option which allows you to remove the cached files. I believe this should be a feature on every app. Every app should have the option to let you just remove the cached files because they will take a ton of space on your iPhone. Like if we go to Spotify right here and we go to settings, you will find a section for storage. Now going here, you will see what we have. So we have on downloads, only 358 megabytes while we have on cached files 1.8 gigabytes but of course spotify is awesome and it lets you do that clear the cache with one button right here that's a great great feature to have and again snapchat is another app that will allow you to do that so you go to the settings on snapchat you have here account actions you can see clear cache one gig over one gig right there so what you can do is just go ahead and tap right here that will allow you to clear one gig from your iphone so that you have of course more free space and clear all the cached files from the app so these are the four different methods which you can use to clear cached files from your iphone again cached files will take a lot of space whether that's from system files from your iphone ios or just files from your browser or from your other apps, these files will take a lot of space. As you can see right there, a lot of apps will take up to one gig or even more with time. And that of course will have a huge impact on how much free storage you have on your iPhone. So make sure you go ahead and always check out your files, check out your storage and see which apps are taking a lot of space with cached files and make sure you use one of these techniques to free up a ton of space on your iphone so that is it for this video guys thank you guys for watching the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this and of course smash the like button as it really helps out a lot and i'll see you on the next one